I'm Michelle. Take a look at the stylish design of this wooden cocktail glass. You might think it took a long time to make, but in fact, it only took 15 minutes. A machine does all the work. Today, we're going to meet a Takumi or innovator who invented the new machine. Let's go meet him. I visited the city of Asahikawa, located in the center of Hokkaido Prefecture. Hello. Hello. I'm Michelle. Thank you for having me. I'm Hosokawa. Nice to meet you. Today's Takumi or innovator is Tadayoshi Hosokawa, an engineer at a company that manufactures industrial equipment such as conveyor belts. Wow, a lot of these have very intricate designs. Can you really make these in just 15 minutes? Yes, if we have the 3D design data, all it takes is the push of a button. I see. Can you show us the machine? Sure, right this way. This is a machine. It's a three-dimensional wood lathe. Just put in the 3D design data, and it will carve out any shape you want, like a 3D printer for wood. First, we asked them to make the cocktail glass design we saw earlier from this block of wood. Oh, I can see it cutting. This is great. A complex, twisting shape is crafted with ease. What was once a block of wood is now a cocktail glass. Ta-da! Isn't it amazing? Take a look. It is only like one millimeter thick. And it's complete in just like 15 minutes. So Remarkable! How does it produce such an intricate shape in so little time? The back and forth and left and right motion of the saw blade and the rotation of the wood are all controlled by a computer. Those together allow us to make complex shapes. The computer controls the rotation of the wood, the right and left movement of the saw blade as it cuts, and the lengthwise motion of the saw blade as it proceeds along the block of wood. This produces a 3D item to precise specifications. Traditionally, wood is shaped on a lathe, but a conventional lathe can only create shapes that are round and the same on all sides. Asymmetrical shapes required handcrafting by skilled artisans. But this machine makes complex and asymmetrical shapes possible. The secret lies in the precise control of the saw blade. But circular saws are usually used to process lumber, right? Yes. People think of them as cutting tools, but we're using them as carving tools. And the many teeth on the blade make carving much more efficient. The computer-controlled 3D lathe can carve out complex shapes in just a few minutes. I asked the Takumi for a favor. I'd like to have a charging dock for my smartwatch. He said they can make any shape, so I asked for a rectangular one that leans back. I think we can make this. He turned my drawing into a 3D design on the computer. That took 90 minutes to get ready, and then the carving started. The movement is very different from when it was carving the cocktail glass. It's a more angular shape, so that's how it moves to make that shape. This 3D lathe can cut a perfectly flat surface into a spinning piece of wood. Now that is craftsmanship. The carving took less than 20 minutes. The whole thing was done in under two hours. Thank you so much. It's complete. And take a look, there is a special slit. 
that is added on afterwards by Mr. Hosokawa so that I can put the cord around it. It's so nice. It can also reproduce shapes brought in from 3D scanners. This shell shape was copied in under 20 minutes. It can execute challenging designs, but it can also make objects as little as one millimeter thick. Where would you like to see this machine used? Nowadays, a lot of traditional craftsmen are getting older and retiring. It'd be great if this machine helped to revitalize those trades. So I asked both of you what sort of wooden item you'd like to have made for you. Yes, I requested a heart-shaped goblet like this. This is not a very good drawing, but this is what the Takumi made for me. I love it. And I can't believe that this was carved in just 15 minutes. And I asked for something with a DNA-style double helix. And the finished product looks like this. It's beautiful. I can almost feel the sequences by touching the grooves just like some proteins do. Well, I'm glad you both like them. And the Takumi is also thinking about increasing production with machines that could process several blocks of wood at the same time. Thank you very much, Michelle. So, Dr. Tashiro, how would you wrap up today's topic? Today, we talked about the sequences of nuclear DNA from the remains of a Jomon man and woman. Currently, Jomon nuclear DNA from other regions is being analyzed. I expect that will tell us even more about the physical appearance of the Jomon people. But it's not just the Jomon. We found human remains from back to the Paleolithic era and others that came after the Jomon. If we are able to sequence the nuclear DNA of these other ancient peoples, that might tell us how the people in and around the islands of Japan moved and came together from around the world. Thank you, Dr. Tashiro. And thank you all for joining us on Science View. I hope to see you all next time.